Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you're at out here on this fine Monday, start of the work week here. February 24th, 2025 is the date. Almost March. Goodness, I can't believe it. Coming up on springtime here. Uh, latest activity here on the earthquake 3D globe shows a 3.7 across the uh, Japan area. We're still having a little bit of earthquake activity out there across that region. Uh, California-wise, notice some quakes on the map here today. It looks like about 7 o'clock this morning, they decided to turn things back on here in terms of the reporting. Notice the first quake there at 7.51 a.m., roughly about the time a seismologist gets into the office there. So maybe something triggered over the weekend that uh, uh, basically what happened was there was no earthquakes being reported out here. Even though they were happening on the seismograph station, uh, nothing was being uh, reported across Northern California, the Bay Area, including the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. So if we look here at the last... Uh, seven days the literally the last earthquake that was reported aside from this morning was two days ago look at that big gap there from the 22nd to the 24th so no reporting of the earthquakes this weekend uh, i don't know what goes on there in the office but uh there is no reporting uh, but they're on now and i doubt they'll go back and fill in the earthquakes that did take place here this weekend we had a number of earthquakes up here in northern california mostly in the smaller range we've seen them showing up here on the seismograph station there across uh um, petrolia the station right here you know what i read these maps these graphs 24 7 and we legitly probably had a good 10 or 15 earthquakes up here in northern california of small magnitude probably nothing above a 2.5 level but a number of them did take place out there Trimmer activity has been uh, elevated in that region as well. Let me go back over here to the trimmer map and show you guys um, 200 epicenters of trimmer there across Northern California. This is underneath the area associated with the Cascadia subduction zone, the extreme southern end. And as of late, uh, any trimmer that does take place triggers earthquake activity upstream here around Northern California. And to say that there was nothing all weekend is uh that's not not uh, very professional so we'll continue to watch that um that, that's just the way it is if i was in charge of things it'd be a lot different in terms of transparency uh low earthquake activity outside of salinas near moss landing a 2.7 that is just off the san andreas fault here um and i'm sure they've had a number of earthquakes out here as well not being reported though literally yesterday there was nothing showing up here on the map in northern california just a little couple small earthquakes here in uh in southern california and it just that doesn't happen there's always earthquake activity here in the clear lake volcanic field there's hundreds that take place on any given day here's the last 30 days of earthquakes here across the clear lake volcanic field this is geothermal operations where they um, take advantage of the heated area below to create energy these geothermal plants there's numerous ones they also induce earthquakes 1400 earthquakes in the last 30 days minus the last two days here so you could probably add a couple hundred more uh, for the lack of reporting here all weekend all right backing out uh, southern california here a couple of smaller earthquakes here this is one area that well the earthquake activity um continues but the reporting continued as well. So I don't know what the difference is between uh, Southern California and Northern California in terms of reporting. I thought it was one agency reporting, but either way, it is what it is. I can't really do anything about it except for report the uh, data out here that I see. 2.5 earthquake here uh, outside of Santa Maria early this morning decent sized earthquake uh, well i can't say decent sized earthquake but it is above the 2.5 level so we've seen a number of them here this morning latest one up around the um, uh, salinas area so keep an eye here on the california region nothing big down across the san andreas fault for now got a couple smaller earthquakes on it we'll continue to watch the west coast here up through uh, washington a couple smaller earthquakes one up around the Mount Rainier area. I did pull up the seismograph station there. That's a 1.7 earthquake striking within the last hour and a half, which would match this earthquake signal right here. Previous to that, uh, a couple, maybe some smaller ones there, but uh, no signs of any volcanic activity across Mount Rainier. 
Just uh, some periodic earthquake activity, which is uh, very common. There's uh, yesterday's event, maybe some other ones out there. But as far as any unusual activity to note there across that volcano, it's pretty uh, quiet. For the rest of the region here, Yellowstone, nothing showing up, but it was the weekend. Most of the quakes that happen there at Yellowstone do not get reported either until Monday. So that's why I always like to double check the seismograph station recorded views to see if there's anything taking place out here that's not being reported. Looks like a little bit of swarming going on here across the western, northwestern area of Yellowstone National Park. Super volcano. See a couple very small spikes. Some of those earthquakes showing up on nearby Madison River Station. So those are legit earthquakes of magnitude, probably below 2.0. But as noted, not a peep squeak or a, I don't know what else to compare it to, but no data. Uh, these other events here in the blue are environmental noise, such as wind. Texas, oil field still rocking and rolling out here. San Antonio southward, massive oil field down here, getting hit with a lot of earthquake activity recently. We look at the satellite view. Well, you know, some of these are showing up here on the map. Quite a few uh, within location there. Oil drilling rigs. Um, and, you know, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to uh, read the wordings out here. Earthquakes and oil rig uh, pumping operations go hand in hand. Kind of like bread and butter. Some people don't like butter on their bread, but in my world, bread and toast, oh yeah, sounds good. All right, uh, backing out of here. Uh, let's see, New Madrid seismic zone, pretty quiet. Eastern portion of the country, quiet as well. Still getting a little swarming down here across the Puerto Rico trench area. Getting the squeeze here across that subduction zone region. You can see it. Quite nicely there, Puerto Rico Trench, capable of producing a mega quake. It's been quite a while, um, but we got a little swarming going on around that area. I'll keep an eye on it. Rest of the globe here, New Zealand seeing some fours, not showing up on the USGS map, but they are across the um, EMSE model here on the globe. That uh, number of four pointers down there across South Island area. Check out these earthquake drums here across the uh, New Zealand area. I'll refresh this, make sure we got the latest data. There's those four pointers showing up here in the last couple hours. Decent uptick in earthquake activity there across the plate boundary. It looks like it's just off the plate boundary, but uh, keep an eye on that. Also got uh, White Island kicking up some uh, ash emissions and large steam plumes in the last couple days. Actually, this has been a fairly common event here over several weeks. Uh, aviation code there across White Island, uh, North Island, New Zealand area remains at two. The aviation color code just uplift, uplifted there to an orange. So things starting to kick up there across that uh, volcano. But this has been, you know, it's they mentioned it right here. Steam, gas, and ash emissions remain variable as they have been for the past few months. Nothing of abnormal activity. Just what volcanoes do, right? And it's been doing that for a little while. Some deeper activity there across the Tonga Trench. A uh, lot quieter out here today in the Indonesia Islands area, Philippines region. That's a uh, man. It's been uh, it's been quite active here in the last couple of days. Stand by for a second. Going to put that on mute. Uh, yesterday had a swarm of activity out here across the Java Trench and all through the area. Uh, a lot of older rings out here now mainly focused across the Philippines area with some threes clustering up there, maybe a four as well. Some uh, further adjustment up here across New Zealand, or uh, excuse me, Japan. Flip-flop the plates here. That would not be good if that happened all of a sudden. Uh, but yeah, we got a little bit of activity up around Japan. Keep an eye there on the Nankai Trough. Got uh, some buildup going on there across that subduction zone. L latest quake of 3.7 here within the last 15 minutes or so. That uh, is going to be this earthquake right here, it looks like, on the Japan station. Southern California picking up a little earthquake as well. Let's see what that is. No, well, they haven't got to it yet. Something's going on down there across Barrett that's putting off that little signature on the graph right here. Oh, but we'll get back to that.
Checking out the rest of the model out here. Uh, let's see, the Aleutian Trench quite active, uh, roughly around Alaska, but no big earthquake activity to report, just uh, some elevated twos. South America, down around the Chile area, swarm of movement. A couple fours out there off the coast of Chile and some older activity there into the subduction zone. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet, nothing showing up there. Uh, there's that movement yesterday in the Ethiopia rift boundary. Santorini volcano up here, the Greece area. A lot of older activity from yesterday. Let's go check out the seismograph station there, see what was recorded in the last 24 hours. Ooh, looks like we had some four pointers at least there on this graph. That's uh, getting up there a little bit. Was the USGS reporting any of those? Uh, they reported one 4.4 this morning at 3.33 a.m. 3.33. That uh, is probably going to be one of the larger events there on that graph. Right here is what I'm guessing. So that's a 4.4. Some other smaller quakes in there in the last 24 hours as well. Uh, a look at the region and the earthquake activity accumulated here in the last week shows about 615 earthquakes dying down in terms of the earthquake counts out here. But still, you know, there's still seeing some earthquake activity, a little bit of migration southward here. The latest quake, though, on the map showing a 1.1. Uh, it looks like just around the Santorini eastern caldera right there at about five miles deep five kilometers deep excuse me a number of ones happening i mean we're seeing earthquakes occur roughly about every 20 30 minutes or so and even though they're small there's still earthquake activity out there that uh 4.4 let me see where that 4.4 right here that's just in the mix of uh where we've seen most of the concentration of earthquakes there if you look on the map that blue circle uh in the mix showing up for that 4.4 earthquake 10 kilometers deep so things are still active out here they have not gone away completely and as i've said it takes time for uh, volcanic processes to take place this is definitely a deeper larger intrusion down there and it may take a little while before we see an escalated type scenario but we'll continue to watch it ethiopia a couple earthquakes there from yesterday nothing to report today uh, let's see what else we have across the region. Some in older activity there across Australia. I'll keep an eye on New Zealand for sure. They've been a little active so far today. Middle America Trench roughly about the same. A little bit broader scale movement taking place today though. Keep an eye on the Caribbean plate. Normally things, when they escalate here, uh, it puts a strain here on this Caribbean plate where Puerto Rico air is. Cayman Islands, where we've seen that 7.6 here a number of weeks back. Just be on guard. Space weather activity? Well, not a whole lot of activity since yesterday's X flare. Um, a number of, uh, at least one more M flare, it looks like. But going back down here in the C flare category, not a whole lot happening right now. I'll take a look at these magnetogram images of the sunspots and man there's just not a whole lot happening out here in terms of any dynamic increasing magnetic complexity here it's pretty quiet so um, i guess we'll keep an eye here on this region maybe maybe an area up here this looks fairly close in color uh, proximity here so that's showing a little bit of complexity but i don't know there's not a whole lot of uh solid threat for some earth directed flares these guys bumped it up to 25 percent chance i think they just did that recently because i've moved mine up uh but i don't uh i really don't see any x flare activity today looking at the magnetogram image as far as um, potential uh, this area right here has a, a little bit though for maybe some m flare activity but we'll keep an eye on it uh again they're th they're showing 25 percent chance for x flare m flare at 65 and no major roars there in the forecast although we're getting a little bit of roars right now up across the higher latitudes there um on the uh well, well people are sleeping opposite of me opposite the north american side 
A little bit of a high-speed solar wind stream coming in, amplifying the aurora conditions, but really nothing major in the forecast there for now. As far as any major severe weather goes, nothing in the forecast. Uh, got a marginal risk, though, I guess, up, up around Washington and Oregon for some wind events. A little tornado threat down in Florida today, uh, 2%, but overall, uh, just not a whole lot of severe weather right now happening. Of course, up in the Pacific Northwest, you're getting a dandy of a low-pressure system. Lots of rain, lots of snow. That all missed California. Um, our next chance of rain here for the West Coast looks to be around the March 3rd time period as a series of storm systems come in, hopefully, bringing with it uh, some some moisture. I'm, um, I'm okay with that. We need more rain out here. I'm not a summer guy. So the longer we can uh, squash the summertime temperatures of 115, the better for me. The happier, the happier I will be, trust me. All right, um, what else we got here, folks? Close approach asteroids. Anything major coming in? Not right now. Everything looks pretty safe out here. Newly discovered 32-foot size asteroid. Uh, bus size, 703,000 miles, and that's pretty safe. Millions of miles here for these other ones. All right, uh, seismograph stations there, pretty quiet, aside from one little spike there in uh, Southern California. Let me see if they've added that yet. Nope, not yet, but at least their reporting is on. I, I can't say it's on for Northern California, though. I, it's hard to believe that nothing has came up on the Petrolia stations yet, but... Uh, We'll keep an eye on it, folks. That's all we can do for right now. Just be prepared. Stay safe. We'll catch you guys out here later for the Monday night update.